Tuloy natin ang ating uh, pag-aaral, mga kapatid. Kaulitin ko na sana ito ating mga pag-aaral, hindi lang pag-aaral, kundi open, open mind, open heart, open ears. Kasi hindi natin alam kung by this time the Lord is already really speaking to us. Kasi I, I believe na itong mga panahon kagaya nito, hindi pwedeng manahimik ang ating Panginoon. The Lord, the Lord will never be silent in this type of situation. Mga kalamidad, mga earthquake, famine. Pag ang sanglibutan ay, pag itong scriptures ay na, na, napupulpil, ah, uh, It is not only fulfilled, but the Lord is there. At ang madalas na kung gusto natin kausapin ng Lord, eh, yung tapat. Now, kahit sa ano mas sa Biblia, kung sino yung talaga nag, nag-extend ng life, ng, ng time, ng sarili, mas madalas ng Lord yun ang kausap. Kasi kung kakausap yun ng Lord ng hindi matapat, hindi masunurin, uh, that is to teach them how to become. Now, pero kung ganito na may realization para matupad o may katuparan, eh, God Himself will come. mag intervene siya sa mga, sa mga eventualities. Uh, mag-inter mag-intervene siya because this is his business this is his business to see things fulfilled is one of his business uh, so sana hindi lang ito ating pag-aaral but sensitive yung ating mga spirito because the word is spiritual it deals with the with the heart uh, God does not deal with the brain God, God deals with the heart. So, sige, patuloy natin natin pag-aaral. Uh, pagdating kasi sa mga end time, mga last days, uh, yan, yung mga, alam nyo na, yung mga lindol, pagka, uh, kalamidad, signs of the last days, eh, pupunta ako sa I believe this is still part of things that is to come. Now, pero malaki ang role yun ng ating mga preparation. I'll go, I'll, I'll, I'll speak with it. I'll speak about the ten virgins. Now, pagka paulit-ulit to, minsan nawawala na lang, nawawala na lang meaning. Uh, pero, Ayaan nyo balikan natin, baka merong, merong buhay na titimo sa ating mga, mga puso. Matthew chapter 25, I'll, I'll be reading verse 10, pero alam nyo na yung laman, at pupokus lang ako dito sa isang verse na Pusahan ako magda-drive kasi last days, kagaya nito, may lockdown, uh, nakaharang lahat yung mga, mga military sa kalsada, check up, checkpoint. Now, uh, so, let's deal about this. Okay? Now, uh, let me read to you the scriptures. Verse 10, while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Well, alam yun na yung, yung, yung ten virgins, one were called foolish just because they were not they did not prepare so let us pray god 
Heavenly Father, limitado masyado kami, Panginoon, sa aming mga sarili. Isa lang ang gusto namin, Panginoon, ibigay mo sa amin sa lahat ng panahon. Na maging sensitive, Panginoon, sa iyo. Don't be sensitive. Uh, dahil sa while we don't have all the knowledge that is necessary and that is na kailangan namin Panginoon and we cannot be like others na bihasa at alam na Panginoon ang mga bagay-bagay allow us oh Lord Jesus na pag-usapan kahit munti at kahit isang bah maliit na bahagi lang ng buhay ng mga sampung berhen lalo na Panginoon yung mga wise virgins Father bless us through your word and by the power of your spirit if it can be possible because we are not only human but we are spiritual beings that you deal with us speak with us and touch us, O oh Lord. Paalam mo at ipadama mo sa amin that while we are watching the online that you can touch our hearts, touch our soul. Ipadama mo, Panginoon, na kapiling ka namin sa aming pag-aaral. Lord God, pangunahan mo po kami. Ito yung aking samo, ito yung aking dalangin sa pangalan mo, Panginoon Jesus. In Jesus' name. <coughs> Mga kapatid, verse 10, samantalang sila'y tumaroon at bumili ng, uh, ng langis. Dahil yun ang problema nila. Meron silang lamp. Pero an empty lamp. Now, an empty lamp that cannot bring them anywhere. So, while they went to buy, kasi yun nga payo, punta kayo, kasi humihingi sila eh, pahingi ng, ng langis dun sa mga five wise virgin, pantas na berhen. Eh, pinayuan sila na bumalik kayo at bumili. Samantalang sila ay parang pumaroon, the bridegroom came. Now, ayan na, ayan na, ayan na ang problema kasi yung bridegroom dumating <laughs> sana, sana naman lang huwag mo lang dumating diba yun ang ating yun ang ating procrastination hindi ba yun ang ating minsan nasa likod ng isip I'll delay my my repentance, I delay my, I delay my, lahat, ah, bibilisan na yung business, bibilisan na yung trabaho, bibilisan na assignment, lahat, get ourselves busy, tsaka na, yung tungkol sa pagdarating ng Panginoon. And while they were on their way back, trying to recover, trying to make up, the bridegroom came. Now we wish that everybody's ready because when the bridegroom when the bridegroom comes, he's not coming for those who are preparing. Now kung 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 siya hindi na parito sa hindi handa well Bakit siya paparito sa hindi handa? Natural, hindi handa. Hindi siya paparito sa hindi handa. At saka yung hindi handa, wala expectations yun. But, to observehan natin, with the Christian churches now, it is spreading throughout the world because the gospel is being spread. Ako nga lagi kong sinasabi eh, 14 years old ako nang tumanggap sa Lord. I'm 69 now. Multitude, multitude crowds. Ang dami na and most of them, oh, backslider na. 
daw. Let me say this. Sa aking, sa aking pananaw at sa aking obserbasyon, mas marami ng backslider ngayon. Everybody knows Jesus is coming. And, and more people are preparing and there's nothing wrong with preparation. There is nothing wrong, hindi masama maghanda. Kailangan nga yung maging handa eh. But the only problem, the only sad thing, Jesus, the bridegroom, will not come for those who are preparing. Oh my God. Uh, it, uh, uh, let every one of us be wise. It is wise to prepare, but not wise enough. It, person who keeps preparing is not wise enough. A wise person is or are those who are prepared. Handa na ba tayo mga kapatid? Yan ang question eh. Most of us in front of the screen watching me be honest mas marami sa atin ang naghahanda kasi sounds sounds good eh pangit yung hindi handa buti buti na lang sabihin naghahanda <laughs> Pag dumating ang Panginoon, naghahanda ka pa rin. Kung baga sa aeroplano, iwanan ka. Iiwanan ka. The flight will be on time. Pag nag-rapture, hindi mag-a-announce ang Lord. Langit, tutunog. Antonio, Galimet, calling, calling. <laughs> All of us has to be waiting passengers. Mas mabuti pa yung waiting passengers eh. Because ang mga tao, mga naghihintay, mga pasahero na naghihintay, yun ang handa. Hindi, hindi yung naghahanda. Samantalang sila'y pampumaroon para bumili ng langis, dumating. Dumating ang bridegroom. They that were ready went in with him to the marriage and the door was shut I want to talk about when the door was shut ang pintuan bumubukas sinasarap bumubukas sinasarap entrance it's a passage daanan Giving everybody the privilege. No? Sa panahon ngayon mga kapatid, lockdown. Ang gandadaan doon sa bukid, sa bundok. No? Dadaan ka talaga sa Toro Fair. Dadaan talaga, talaga tayo sa highway. Dadaan ka talaga doon sa pinaka main road. At nandun yung, nandun yung lockdown. Nandun yung, nandun yung checkpoint. Now, I just want to focus on a very small topic. Maliit lang ang pag-usapan. Yung door, the door was shut. Pero paniwala ko, very, very relevant na pag-usapan ito dahil kasama na naman ito sa quarantine eh. When you say, when you say, stay home. You, you don't keep your door open. You don't, you close the door. Now, at the same time, door ang pag-uusapan natin, ito parable, ang limang virgin were very na, discouraged. Masyado silang discouraged, hindi dahil sa langis, ang langis nila kulang. Hindi dahil sa ang kanilang lamp, 
empty. Hindi dahil sila pabalik sa bayan at bibili ng langis. It's giving them hope to come back. It's an opportunity that they will grab. Balik. Bili kayo ng langis. Nag-disappoint sila. Why? Because the door was shut. Nasarado ang pintuan. Now, yung lesson at warning, hindi nila napansin. Now, dito malalaman natin na hindi talaga okay ang malay. Hindi talaga okay ang malay. The door of heaven will not be open just just because of one single person. Okay, malay. Pero pag na-rapture, wala nang alam, oras eh. Nobody knows the time. Except the father. The angel doesn't know his God. And except the father. Now, mga kapatid, dito, sabihin natin lahat yung mga, labihin natin lahat ng mga rason natin, bakit tayo na late? Diba? Yung mga itong mga nakaraan, puro mark natin, late, 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 o kasi, 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 kasi. Pagdating sa Panginoon, pagdating sa rapture, pagdating sa end time, we have to be aware and conscious. Lahat aware. Sa panahon natin ngayon, everyone is aware. Tungkol sa delays, tungkol sa uh, quarantine, tungkol sa end time, we're getting aware. How many of us are conscious? I want to talk about that, but not now. When it comes to when it comes to rapture, second coming, doesn't need it doesn't only need awareness. Now, ito mga kapatid, ten virgins, they're all aware. They are aware of. Uh, Uh, a love, they are aware of an oil, they are aware of the second coming, they are aware of the door that is open, that is closed, they are aware of, of the bridegroom coming, they are aware. Ibig sabihin, may alam. Kailangan meron tayong alam. Pero, how many of those who, who are aware are really conscious? Para maintindihan natin ito, para sabihin na, o, oh, masama ang, masama ang minum ng soft drinks. Oh, everyone is aware. Who is, not, who is not aware about that? Sino ang hindi aware doon? Na masama, kahit mga bata, o, oh, masama ang uh, soft drinks. Para ba sa aware? Pero, how many are conscious? Conscious means, sino yung hindi talaga, ayaw talaga, alam nila na masama, hindi nila ginagawa. Because they're conscious. Parang ganito, oh, pagka lumabas ka ng bahay, we are all aware na kailangan lahat be home. Alam yan, kahit yung mga lumalabag, kahit yung nahuhuli, kahit yung mga lumalakad sa kalsada, kahit yung mga kulit, mga pasaway, alam nila, stay home. Pero nandun pa rin sila. They're not aware. They are, they are not conscious. Because kung conscious sila, then dapat sumunod kasi conscious people are obedient people. Conscious people are obedient people. 
Hindi lang yung may alam talaga. Susunod sila. Now, kailan magsashat ng door? Sabi naman na sa revelation, di ba? Uh, alam natin to. Darating ang panahon, God will shut doors. He will close doors. No one can open. He will open doors no one can shut. Ginagamit yan sa mga mga motivational uh, training. They strongly use the word that why uh, the door will be open. No one can shut. When the Lord opens the door, don't don't worry. God is God. God has a favor for you. He will open the door. No one can shut. Now, who, who is applying the open door and closed door to the second coming? Now, pagkampintuan ay nasara. All opportunities are ended. Lahat ng opportunity, pag nasara ng pintuan, wala na. No chance. There is no second chance when the rapture takes place. There is no second chance when the door is closed. When the bridegroom comes, there is no second chance. It's like the days of Noah. When Noah built the ark, there was only one door. Noah didn't close the door. Hindi si Noah ang gasara. Noah, Noah created the door as instructed, but hindi siya ang nagsara ng pinto. It was God who closed the door of the ark. Then the rain came. Tao nung sa labas ng daong. What foolish people they are. They were invited to come into the ark. When the door is closed, provision, promises, all opportunities and chances is ended. No prayer will work. Wala na. When the rapture takes place, you pray. When the 6666 six, six, six rises, you know how to pray. Pray! Nandyan na yung ruler of the world. Nandyan na yung brutal na, na tribulation. You pray. What will you, what will you pray when you are left behind? What? Remember that prayer can only work at a season where it still works. When the word is ended, what senses do you have? It will all be regrets, 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 regrets. Siguro kakatokin mo ulo, iuuntog mo ulo sa ano. Why? Because you fail. When the door is shut, both the outside people and those who are in the, in the door and out of the door will be there forever. Pag nakapasok na sa pintuan at nasa rapinto, forever starts. Forever. Pagpasok mo sa pinto, it will be forever. Pag nasyat ng pinto, Forever. At tayo may iwan, tayo nasa labas, forever din. It's either forever heaven or forever hell. Now, sino yung nasa loob? Five wise virgins. 
Hindi lahat ng nabaptize, lahat, sabihin ko na to, kahit nabaptize na to, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, sinayang mo ang baptism mo. Because not all who were baptized will be inside. There are many who were baptized who are foolish. They have not been wise enough Nagpaka-wise na tumanggap sa Panginoon. Pagkatapos yun lang. After that, wala na. Nagpaka-wise. Na mga kapatid, huwag niyong kalimutan, hindi lahat. Sabi ng Biblia, not everyone that say, Lord, Lord. Not everyone that say, Lord, Lord, is inside the door. Many of those who are saying, Lord, Lord, calling him Lord. Not everyone that is using his name in music and singing and praises and casting out demons and healing the sick and miracles using the name of Jesus. Ay, nandun sa loob. Not all. Oh, sayang. Don't be deceived. Not because you say, Lord. Not because you know how to pray. Not, not because. Not because that you can assure you're in there because the requirement is there has to be enough oil. The first requirement, of course, we know is not oil, the blood of Jesus. Be baptized in Jesus' name. That is where the blood of Jesus is applied. Then sinabi ng Acts 2, 38, And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yun ang oil. Two great requirements para sa ating buhay. is the blood of Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Huwag natin litin. Let's not minimize the requirement of the Holy Ghost. O, oh, tapos na ako. My sins are redeemed. I am redeemed. My sins are forgiven. Now, how about your future? Lahat ng kasalanan. Kasalanan mo. Kasalanan mo na. Inugasan na lahat. Eh, pagkatapos nun, magkasala ka ulit, magkasala ka ulit, magkasala ka ulit, magkasala ka ulit. Mabuti kung maalala mo magsisi, magsisi, magsisi. Kasara magsisi. Who will give you the power to do that? Kaya kailangan, ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Tanggapin mo yung Espiritu Santo. Yung Espiritu Santo, yun ang, yun ang unang sasabihin niya. Hindi niya hintay magkasala ka. Ang unang sasabihin niya, huwag mo gawin yan to avoid sin. Kung sakaling hindi mo, hindi mo na Na, na overcome then the spirit will say repent the spirit of God will not will not wait that you you keep on sinning and then will give you the power to repent the Holy Spirit will will give you the power to prevent we know all of us know that prevention is better than cure eh baka mamaya wala nang cure yan now E eh, sino yung nasa labas? E eh, sino yung nasa labas? Well, alam natin, wicked. We're not wicked. Pero, yung tumatawag sa Lord, gumagamit sa kanyang name, akala natin yung wickedness, yung pumatay, gumawa ng mga uh, kabulastugan, yung masasama, yung wicked. No. Maraming gumagamit sa name of the Lord. Maraming gumagamit sa name of the Lord. They cast out demons. They use it. They're wicked. Ito nga tumatawag. So, Lord, 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 Lord. The Lord said, I know you're not. You wicked. Now, let's not only familiarize prosperity, favor of God, Let's not, let's not over-familiarize the goodness of God. 
let's also let's also know ano yung ano yung uh, hahad lang sa favor ano yung gagawin tayo masama now ang nasa lab, sa labas yung mga hindi handa yung nasa labas yung hindi masunurin yung hindi faithful ang maiiwan hindi tapat hindi tapat o oh, tapat ako na late lang ang pinakamahalagang sa ngayon sasabihin ko to ang pinakamahalaga sa panahon ng kagaya nito sabi ko nga paghahanda therefore our faithfulness now we can check our faithfulness by using time if we cannot be on time we are not faithful kasi doon malalaman kung tapat tayo eh. Diligently doing what is right and have to be on time. We cannot be trusted. Time cannot trust us. Season comes, season goes. We have to know seasons. Kapanahunan. Sasabihin ng winter, ayan, namatay ka kasi alam mo nang darating ako. Hindi ka tapat. Tao hindi tapat kailanman hindi naging masunurin. Ang taong hindi tapat kailanman hindi naging masunurin. Kasi taong tapat nakabantayan. You watch times, the end time. You think you think we are not yet at the end time. You think the bridegroom will not yet come and he will procrastinate and wait and delay. That's what you thought. That's what many Christians thought. Kasi na delay na ng 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 pagbalik, na delay na ang Lord ng pagbalik. O magdidelay siya throughout. Wala na second coming. Mga kapatid, if we can be faithful, if we can be faithful, we can come in the door. The door is shut to the wicked, to the unprepared, and to the unfaithful. Tandaan niyo, sabi ng Panginoon, come in to my rest. Youth, Faithful servant of God. Hindi obedient. Kasi ang obedient, obedient, may time sa obedience eh. Obedience starts when you are a child. When you grow older at tumanda ka na, kagaya ng kayo ngayon, hindi na obedience ang requirement ninyo. You have to be faithful because faithful people are always obedient. Faithful people are always obedient. Praise God. And when the door is shut, when will the door be shut? When the sound will from heaven, when Jesus Christ will appear when Jesus comes when we meet him on the air when will we come when will the door shut when the bridegroom comes handa na ba tayo mga kapatid are you ready how am I ready oh kailangan natin ng oil kailangan mo ng oil kailangan mo ng oil. Kung wala kang oil, nandun ka pa, wala ka pa, hindi ka pa nakarating dun sa door. 
Huwag ka na maghintay na ma-set ng door. Hindi ka pa nakarating sa door, wala na. Empty. Kaya kailangan, ngayon pwede kayong, you can do this right home. Baka, sabihin natin, oh, sa church, kailangan may revival, kailangan Holy Ghost, kailangan mag-feel ka, kailangan puno ka, kailangan umapaw ka. Pwede maging isa talas pang galing yun. Tapos sabihin na, oh, kailangan matunaw ka, kailangan, 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 kailangan. Eh, ililimit natin ang, ililimit natin ang, ang Holy Ghost Baptism sa church. When the Holy Ghost was poured out, It was poured out in the upper room. 120 received the Holy Ghost. When the Gentiles received the Holy Ghost, it was in the house of Cornelius. Wala sa synagogue, wala sa temple. It's in the house of synagogue. We have a brother of the matagal ng panahon, pioneering times, nakatanggap ng Holy Ghost dun sa pabrika ng mga chinelas. You can receive the Holy Spirit right now in your, where you are, kung saan ka ngayon, you can receive the Holy Ghost. And it's the Holy Ghost. Ang Holy Ghost, yan ang langis. Kailangan mo sa iyong sisidlan. Sisidlan sa buhay mo. Ang Holy Ghost ang langis. At ang Holy Ghost ang mag, mag, magpapanatili sa iyo hanggang makapasok ka sa pintuan. Amen. Don't, don't, don't worry about, don't worry whether the door will shut. The Holy Ghost, when you are full of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will take care of you. The Holy Ghost, the oil, will make sure that you will be in when the door is shut. Praise God. Raise your heavenly Father right now, oh Lord God. I know that you can send revival not only in the church. When we sing revive the church of God, we don't mean the church building. We are asking you, Lord, to revive the church. The church is right in the house. Nandiyan sila ngayon, Panginoon, sa mga bahay na nanonood dito sa sa episode na to, Lord God, have mercy. If you are a God and you are a just God, pour out your spirit. Ibigay mo, Panginoon, sa kanila. They don't need to wait for another Sunday. They don't need to wait for another time. You can, you can fill them with the Holy Ghost right in their homes right now. You can do it, Lord. Lalo na kung meron pang silang kasama ng mananampalataya. Lord God, extend them a special favor in a time like this. Remember, Lord, we are doing this online. Wala na kaming ibang katulong, Panginoon. Kahit na gusto namin, pwede kami magsayaw-sayaw, pwede kami mag-revive, pwede kami kumanta ng mga awit para maistira pang bawat isa, para mabuksan ang puso. But Lord, I know you can do it without the music, without the songs, without creating revival atmosphere. Lord, do it right now, please. Please. Meron may naghangad sa kanilang mga puso dahil kami na sa huling araw. Alam mo, Panginoon. Alam, alam, alam ko din, Panginoon, na in time like this, gumagalaw ka, Panginoon. In times like this, nag-i-intervene ka, Panginoon. And filling them with the Holy Ghost is one of the result of your intervention. Jesus, we are doing this. We are asking you before the door is shut. I pray in the precious name of Jesus.
I pray in the precious name of Jesus. Mga kapitid, sige, tuloy ninyo. I'll be closing now. I want you to extend yourself. Huwag kayong mahiya. Pag-usapan niyo ang Holy Ghost. Lakasan niyo yung loob ninyo. Kahit at tulang lang kayo dyan. Sige, maghawakan kayo ng kamay. Bisig sa bisig. Bawal yung uh, distancing. Bawal yung maghawakan ng kamay. But still, nandoon because the Bible says when, they, when Paul laid his hands on them, they received the Holy Ghost. God will honor, God will honor your desire of getting filled with the Holy Ghost. Sige na, gawin nyo na mga kapatid. Gawin nyo. Malayo ang inyong pastor. I'm here. Hanggang sa, hanggang sa screen na lang ako. Kaya lang ginagawa ko pa rin lahat ng mga gawa. That's how, kung hindi kayo na-revive, kung hindi kayo na puspos ng espiritu dito sa church natin, eh dyan yung may experience ang Holy Ghost sa bahay niyo. What a wonderful experience. I, I know it can happen. I believe it can happen. Because this is this is to cope up the requirement of getting in to the kingdom of God. Gawin nyo yan, mga kapatid. Gawin nyo yan. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I pray for you. In Jesus' name.